Good morning, it's Mrs. Lovett here, and I have from the AMI packet, April 10th Literacy. Now, I wrote a little note on here that this paper is actually missing in some of the later packets that were copied that are available at Waldron Middle School. So if you do not have this page, please still watch the video and think about it as I complete and um, challenge yourself to answer before I do and to read along even though you don't have this page. Okay. And also you can always leave a comment in Google Classroom that you don't you don't have the page but you watch the video. And that way we can keep track of who's doing their AMI work. Okay. So the I. Now I know you're taught in reading to go through and read the question so you know what you're looking for when you skim the passage. Now we are not going to skim the passage today. We're going to read the whole thing. So number one, what is the main idea of the story? So as I'm reading, think about what is the main idea. So the eye. Eyes are important sense organs that allow animals to see. Most animals, except insects, have eyes that are similar to cameras. Look at the front of your eye. The shiny clear covering is called the cornea, and it is like a protective window for the eye. The white area is the sclera, a layer that gives the eye its round shape. The iris is the colored part of the eye. The pupil is the dark hole in the middle of the eye that allows light to pass through the lens. The lens gathers and focuses light images, pictures, and sends them to the retina. The retina is like the film of a camera. It receives the images and sends them to the brain through a nerve called the optic nerve. The eye, like a camera, is only able to reflect what it collects. It cannot give meaning to what it sees. Perception, or awareness, happens in the brain. The brain receives the image and interprets it into a meaningful message. The brain decides what the image is and how to react to it. So number one, what is the main idea of this story? A, the eye collects images for the brain to interpret. That sounds about right, but let's go ahead and check the other choices. B. Light passes through the pupil and lens to the retina. Well, that is in the text, but that doesn't sound like the main idea. And C. Most animals have eyes like cameras. That is also in the text, but it's only one mention about animals having eyes like camera. The entire paragraph is not about animals and how they see. So I'm going to choose A. The eye collects images for the brain to interpret. Okay, number two, what is the cornea? Okay, so I'm going to skim the passage here and look for cornea. The shiny clear covering is called the cornea and it is a protective window for the eye. So I can go ahead and underline since my highlighter is way too thick for this. Okay, and now I'm going to write that uh, CSRQ restate, complete sentence restate the question. What is the cornea? The cornea is a shiny clear covering like okay I'm running out of room so I'll write here and then erase it the cornea is a shiny clear covering like a protective window for the eye and you can reword that okay but I have a I started my sentence with a capital letter I have punctuation at the end I should have spaces between my words I am using an iPad pencil so it does not give me um, as much control as a pencil would okay so the cornea is a shiny clear covering like a protective window for the eye now I'm going to go ahead and erase that and go on to question three. I can number. This is where I found number two. Okay, number three. Maybe I can make it larger and write. Which part of the eye focuses on the image? So I'm gonna go back, skim the passage. Mm -hmm. Which part of the eye focuses the image? So I'm looking for the word focus. The lens gathers and 
focuses light images, pictures, and sends them to the retina. Again, that highlighter is way too large. So it focuses. Which part of the eye focuses the image? The lens is the part of the eye that focuses the image. And you could add more if you wanted to there from the text. Make sure your sentence starts with a capital letter, ends with punctuation, and has spaces between the words. Okay, so I'm going to write number three before I erase so that I have room to go on to number four. Okay, the word that means awareness is sclera, which was part of the eye, optic nerve, which was part of the eye, or perception. I'm going to go with perception because it's not part of the eye, but also from the text, perception. Perception or awareness happens in the brain. So it tells you right there in the text. So number four is C. Number five, which part of the eye is like film, recording the image and sending it to the brain? So I'm going to go back over here. The retina is like the film of a camera. It receives the images and sends them to the brain. So number five comes from this part of the text. So which part of the eye focuses the, nope, number five. Which part of the eye is like a film? The retina, let's see, R-E-T-I-N-A, is the part, I'd love to use cursive. Let's see if anybody can read cursive. The retinas, retina is the part of the eye that is like a film. And I could write more, but I'm gonna go ahead and end it there. It's just easy with cursive so you don't hear that t -t 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 with the pencil. Okay, number six, what part of the body interprets and identifies an image? And I remember this because it was so important. It was part of the main idea. The brain receives the image and interprets it into a meaningful message. So, what part of the body interprets and identifies an image? The brain is the part of the body that interprets and identifies, you're probably not going to be able to read that, an image. Oops, that looks like a doctor scribbling on a prescription. Okay, so, and that is where I found number six. Okay, so think ahead. Write a paragraph comparing an eye to a camera. Tell how they are like and how they are different. I challenge you to write this paragraph comparing an eye to a camera and tell how they are like and how they are different and record yourself and send it to Google Classroom or copy and paste your typed paragraph into the comments below this work. So challenge, is anyone gonna accept the challenge? I'd love to see your work. See you later or on a meetup.